Sculpting new ears is a simple way to create a unique expression and add impact for a custom model horse, like a Briar Custom, or a great way to add a unique personality to an original sculpture. I'll show you my technique for sculpting ears as well as the additional methods I use when installing them on pre-existing plastic models like Briar Horses. I use non-shrieking two-part sculpting epoxy putties like Aves Epoxy, Magic Sculpt, or Milliput for my ears. These putties work best for customizing plastic models as you don't need to bake them in an oven or kiln to cure them. After mixing equal amounts of each part, I form a lump roughly this size for a 1 9 scale ear, which is Briar traditional scale, and I make it roughly oval shaped. I begin to flatten it out, simultaneously pointing the end that will become the ear tip. Water helps keep the putty smooth and prevent it sticking to my gloves. Then I grab a rounded, pointed rubber sculpting tool and wrap my putty around the tool. Right away, the ear begins to emerge. Next is a bit of back and forth process of reshaping the ear with my fingers, applying the tool again, then using my fingers until I'm happy with the shape. This part of the process takes patience and practice. I haven't worked in this larger scale in a long time, and as you can see, it took me a few attempts before I finally had a pair of ears I was happy with. I thin down the excess of the base of the ear to reduce how much I'll need to cut off later. I often squish the bases together so both ears cure together overnight. If you're working on an original sculpture, you can cut these ears off from the base and squish them into the head of your sculpture. If you are working on a manufactured model or toy, there's a few extra steps that I'll show you. The first step is to remove the original plastic ears with a rotary drill. I like to use the solid metal diamond cutting disc for removing the ear. I take my time and carefully drill at the base of the ear. A small sanding drum will help remove the bits of rough plastic that I couldn't remove with just my fingers, and it helps prep the area for new putty. Using a twist drill bit, I carefully drill a hole for the new ears, widening it as I go. I drop my ears in and position them into place, testing if the hole is wide enough and drilling again if it is not. Carving the bottom of the ears with a hobby knife or using sandpaper also helps me fit them in. Since I'm working on a larger scale, it's easier to add pins to the ears. I do this less for strength than rather to give myself more to insert and glue inside the head. I'm using cyanoacrylic glue, also known as super glue, to fasten the ears, and I'm using baking soda as an activator to help it cure faster and stronger. The glue I'm using is specifically a gel form of CA glue. I let that cure overnight and then create a thin noodle of epoxy putty which I wrap around the base of the ear. I use water and my rubber clay sculpting tools to smooth the putty. Then I add skin wrinkles using the tip of my smallest tool and smoothing out any epoxy lumps with a soft paintbrush and water. It's important that the brush is very soft, otherwise it will create more lumps. <laughs> 
After letting that cure overnight, I often drill or use sandpaper, or even both, to reshape the ears. I don't always have to do this, but in the case of this model, she needed some reshaping to get the best look. A spritz of primer helps me check that it looks good, or if it needs more work. And done! If you're curious how I modify this process for smaller scales like Schleich's or Briar Stablemates, check out my sculpting tutorial for small scale ears linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I appreciate any likes and comments.